Hey everybody. I apologize for the wind noise. Following Afton out on uh, the catwalk to give Seth his evening meds. She said it was her first time on the catwalk since it's been replaced. It's my first time fancy to go through this door. fancy gate. Right. Wow. Look at that. Nice job, Victor. <laughs> Seth. Does your fridge at home not have Tupperware in it? <laughs> bud, bud. Daddy. <laughs> Gave you a sweet chop. Well, Chris, I'm going to go back to getting a drink. Goodness. Take your time. <laughs> She's got nothing but time, right? Ned's is the same as filming. You yeah. have to go to the bathroom or get a drink before they come over. <laughs> Something to focus on the bars. It does look very nice though from this perspective. Isn't it though? I just love the stainless steel. And didn't the uh, didn't the wood go all the way down before? Like you couldn't see through over here? Right. So I like that. All he could see was Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> um, all he could see was wood. <clears throat> and there wouldn't be like a breeze coming through there. So I think that's why he likes it so much better. I like that. That looks really nice. All right, Seth, come on. Okay, keep drinking. All the work you guys do to wash out their water bowls and they want to drink fish flavored water instead. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. How much water can that belly hold? Right? Penny Tiger Lake is still just two sections. Um, I was kind of like shooting through a mess of wire there, which may have made it look like three. I was about to say his name. He was Captain Tricky. <laughs> uh, they're asking how Andy's doing, and I know you just gave him his meds. I did. He just got his meds. Seems to be doing okay. A little drooly, but that makes sense for having a couple teeth pulled. But he came right over and ate everything I had. So that was good. Great. Good, yeah. I liked your 360 video this morning. Oh yes. Did you watch the USA Today one? I did, and I don't think it was any more clear than yours. That's what I thought. It's the first thing I thought. I was like, man, I feel like the, the quality was about the same. It was especially bad on the actual article page. I went on the article page. I didn't yeah. actually go to the YouTube channel. Oh, the YouTube was better. Was but it? It wasn't any better than the 360 you've posted, so I think... Seth! You... Seth! Come on! Come on over! Come on, big guy. I think you know at least as much as they do no, about how to post. Busy. More drinking. <laughs> like, I'm just happy here. Buddy. Come here. Well, was he drinking or did he vomit? I think maybe he gorged on the water. <laughs> was it too much? <laughs> Don't think I want to roll that tape back. <laughs> Ew, Seth, that's all, that's good. That's good. Come here, buddy. Look at this great food she has. Bud. Oh, for goodness sakes. Is this real? <laughs> like, do I just skip you and come back? Seth. It's like, there's little nuggets here I don't want to leave behind. <laughs> What's happening right now? Sethy, my nuggets are fresh. <laughs> so come on over. Seth, come on, bud. Oh, man, I'm about to skip him. <laughs> He's on my way back always. What's going to happen is I'm going to walk away and then he's going to be like, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not until the threat of not being able to have it. Seth. 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 Come on. Come here. 
Woohoo! Yeah! Come here! Look what Afton has. Yummy, yummy! Come here, bud. I'm going to eat it. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> raw meat, gross. <laughs> do you make Especially it up there? So you do! Oh, hey, where are you going? Good Ooh. job! All that calling and waiting for that. <laughs> Well, hello, Gail. Did you build that fence, or I, I thought, thought Victor Gail did was it? I was tuning into your live feed, and you were saying hi to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you hanging the tiger swimming sign? Well, no, I'm hanging a danger, don't come through here, don't come through this gate sign. Oh. <laughs> That's a good idea. Stevenson, weren't you a intern here? He run and jump over the rope. Oh man, <laughs> I did contemplate the whole time. Am I going over or under? <laughs> <laughs> Ginger's meds, but she's every other day. <laughs> I couldn't figure out for the life of me. What's on my misplaced them? Look at that grass. I'm so happy there's grass. Yeah. They've been planting grass and planting grass, but it just wasn't going to grow until we had some rain, and so thankfully we've had some rain. Hi there. We're going to go see Gilligan, who's thinking that something's coming on the cart for him. Hi, Gilligan! Because she's going to go feed Little Dove, who does not like to be watched when she eats. You know those film crew wanted to see you so bad, and all you wanted to do is sleep. All you wanted to do is sleep. Wah! Could you wah at the camera, please? you guys ever watched the video or read the book or listened to the audiobook called The Secret? They want to look at your feet. Yeah, those are some awesome feet, for sure. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> you have the book. Uh, you didn't say if you ever read the book, but I watched that video back in 2006 and it changed my life because I realized that the principles of The Secret are the things that have allowed me to walk. I was injured in a car accident when I was 15 or 16 years old and paraplegic, could only drag myself around by my elbows 
and all of the doctors said that they were going to have to put a steel rod through my spine and that I was never going to walk again and there was just no way that I could see myself being wheelchair bound for the rest of my life and it was through visualizing myself healthy and walking and never giving up and I went to a chiropractor of all things and um, finally ended up being able to walk and that's probably the the biggest thing I've ever had to overcome but it was and that was back in oh gosh that was back in the 70s but in 2006 when the secret came out I realized that the principles in that were exactly what I had used and what has always enabled me to run a successful business and to build this sanctuary and so just recently somebody that I had introduced to the secret Pat O'Shea a former volunteer was at a party at our party house for Cat Crusaders a group that we work with that does domestic cat rescue and she said she had read this book called E squared and E cubed and suggested that I listen to it so I did <coughs> and they were both good books really good books um, but you really need to read or listen to the secret first before you read those because it'll make more sense so it kind of reminded me that I need to like put out to the universe what it is that I want to attract into my life and picture myself enjoying that. And so what I put out to the universe is one of the um, E squared and E cubed has like these little tests that you do, you know, testing the universe to see if it really works. And so one of them was put out to the universe that you want a gift. And so I put out to the universe that I wanted a gift, but it had to be a really good gift. It had to be something that would be noteworthy to me because you know I every day is a gift <laughs> to me and people are so sweet to me and there's so many people that donate to the cats and so I didn't want to say oh well that must have been my answer I wanted something that was so uh, remarkable that I couldn't possibly blow it off and what happened next really blew my mind so I bought that book E squared and E cubed I bought them on April 23rd and it took me a week or better to listen to them because I only listen to them when I'm on my bike or when I'm doing something mindless I have a headset on. And I put out to the universe that I wanted this really substantial gift that I would know for sure this is what was happening. Well, it turns out back in 1993, 24 years ago, I bought two side-by-side -side lots in Polk County. And they were... Um, I thought they were a great deal. I had paid, I think, $2,300 for them. And what I didn't know is that in order to build on them, there were setbacks because of the water on the backside, and they were pie-shaped lots, so you could only build one house on both lots. And it was in a subdivision where they didn't have water and sewer, but they wouldn't allow you to put a septic tank on it that close to the creek so it had to have this whole lift station and so I was always honest with people when I offered it for sale and I've had it for sale for 23 24 years and I always told people you know you got this problem when you go to build that you got to put in this really expensive lift station I had a contract on it back in February that fell through I've had it listed even though I've had it for sale by owner since 1993 I've had it listed with probably four maybe five different real estate companies over the last 10 years it's always been in the MLS it's always been listed I could not sell these two lots and I wouldn't sell them for less than what I had in them so I was trying to just break even on it and I'll be darned <laughs> if get the books on the 23rd I listen to them I'm done by about the end of April maybe the first of May on May 4th I got a contract for both of the lots for enough money to break even and in all the years that I've had it for sale I only once ever even had a contract on it and that had fallen through back in February so I mean these were impossible to get rid of lots and I closed on those lots yesterday and netted over ten thousand dollars at closing after all the realtor fees and taxes and everything else and so I just about broke even. So you might think, well, that's not really a big gift, but it's a huge gift of relief to me because this is Apache, by the way. I am so, I'm going to catch up to you. 
she's going to a couple of cats that I can't bother while they're eating because they won't come out if they see somebody else. It was a huge gift to me because it's just every year my mother's like, when are you going to sell these lots? We're having to pay taxes on these lots every year and I have to send somebody out there to mow the lots. And so every time I do mow the lots or have to clean up the garbage that the neighbors dump on the property, all of that, we've included all of that in what I have in the, the lots. So even though I netted $10,000, I really just eh, right about broke even. And it was still a huge gift to me because I never have to think about those lots again. They're gone. And I am so happy about that. And the new owner didn't care about the issue with the septic tank. She felt like she could deal with that. And so I'm happy for her. And it wasn't something where I could ever build on it because you can't put a mobile home on it, which is what my specialty is. And because I can get really good deals on mobile homes, it had to be a stick built house. Well, a stick built house is now close to $200,000. I'd have to have cash up front to build the thing in a neighborhood where when it's done, it's going to be worth $70,000 <laughs> because it's an old neighborhood. So I was really, really happy to close on those yesterday. Aw, Pia, that's so sweet of you to say. And then, on top of all of that, you guys might remember on May the 13th, I think it was, I did that thank you video because all of a sudden people were sending me so many sweet gifts. And I, if you haven't seen the video, it's over at youtube.com forward slash daily big cat where I post a lot of these walkabouts. And it was thanking all of the people for the sweet gifts of their kind words and their letters and their cards and some of them had actually sent actual gift gifts and one lady even sent a really expensive coach handbag with little butterflies on it because everybody knows how much I love butterflies and that was just days after putting out to the universe send me a gift so that I really know that the secret works and it works it just works so what's the harm? Check it out. I don't make any profit off of selling you the book <laughs> or the audiobooks or the video. In fact, I'm going to see if I can dig out the video tonight, the DVD, and play it again. I haven't played it in a long time. I've probably listened to the audiobook a hundred times because it's so important. And there's so many good things that I just need to constantly remind myself. So check it out and I hope you will have the same success that I have had. I'm running! <laughs> Look at all those interns working over there. Do you know what they're working on? Uh, I think the Banshees. Where's Banshee? In his den, probably. <laughs> I said, He's like, oh, I shoot. I learned on them that school dub doesn't take their meds. <laughs> it's like, this is going to be your fault. I know it. <laughs> they have been killing it out here. Yeah. We've been getting... <laughs> I know, it's like every time I look, there's more and more blue. I love it. I've so far, like, oh my god, your name, so Yeah, I'm just now getting like the ones from the very beginning, like Charlie <laughs> and Elisa, getting them figured out, Megan. <laughs> soil in all these cages and seeding it with grass and now thanks to all of the rain we're actually getting green everywhere oh look at that happy happy don't see you out very often you know even though it's 85 degrees it doesn't feel that hot right now this morning was really nice out oh wow <laughs> <laughs> There's a barricade. <laughs> they have been busy. I want to take tours down this side of uh, Funcation. And so for the longest time have wanted barricades so that we could bring people down there. And it looks like they're building them. This is a full service spa. Each cat is so different. Yes, come over. No, don't come over. <laughs> yeah. There's certain ones where I'm like, no, 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 no. I'll come to you. Is JoJo next? Yes. Yeah. Did you hear that? 
You are next. Jojo is a hybrid. He used to just meet us on the corner. Now he likes to be catered to. The <laughs> you figured out the uh, service system. Yeah. And they don't tip. They don't. They don't. I get a smile and that's it. I'm not sure that's a smile, Rafton. <laughs> My smile. They provide me with lots of smiling. Whoa, that's not smiling. I'm smiling now. You're so cute when you hiss. I know. I mean, you are so scary when you hiss. Suzanne, we would be thrilled if it would rain tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and it's supposed to be so loud. Really? Mm hmm I only have dark skies, so it tells me, like, a second before it rains. It's like, it's going to rain. It's like, boom. It's pouring all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, the witness protection cats are still in litigation. Look at those back claws. Holy crap. <laughs> They're so long. You got it, bud. Not today, babe. Not today. Ooh, right are you sneaking up behind me? Tomorrow. I know. It feels you weird. already got an extra snack. It feels weird. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Christina, the information that we have on that law enforcement page is all that we can say about that. What I can say is that because the press has been so ridiculous in the case and has made it this, you know, poor little family versus the big bad government, because people eat that crap up, it has enabled them to keep um, soliciting donations to pay for lawyers to continue to drag out this case. So she's trying to separate Jade and Armani so that she can give Jade her medications. So Armani moved over. They really know the drill. Armani always goes to the left. Jade always goes to the right. Jade, you were being so silly earlier today. She was chasing stuff that wasn't there and rolling and playing in the grass. One way that cats frequently greet each other is with that headbutt. So when she just came up now and headbutted against the wire, if she had not had the wire between her and Afton, she would have done that right in her forehead and probably about knocked her out because they have heads like bowling balls. <laughs> yes, you have a very tough skull. So I was watching the show about Vikings and I noticed that that's how they greeted each other. Even the men would greet each other. And it made me wonder if that's something that was actually a part of their culture or if they picked it up from watching cats and thought, well, this would be a cool thing to make a part of the show as if it were part of their culture. Maybe somebody here knows more about Vikings than I do. I actually, my ancestry goes back to Vikings, but I don't know that. There's a 
pig farm next door and for the last couple of days there has been the most hideous smell coming from there and it's like sour corn and so Gail was saying that's something that they often feed to pigs after it kind of rots in the silo they I guess can't use it and feed it to them but it's a really gross smell My favorite markings, I think, are the snow leopard spots, where it's kind of a very pale gray on a white background. I love that. You know, I would normally tell you not to come over, but you're kind of far away. Can you do it? You can do it. You can do it. Come here, Aspen, honey. Brrr, I can She's hear purring, you purring. Yeah. <laughs> Got the motor running. This is as far as we go. Can you see? I can get the other one. Come here, lady. Mm, I might get the other one. Until I get up and walk over there and she comes over. <laughs> if I can think cat, I think that's what, yep. That Are we coming? what would happen. <laughs> Come here, lady. You can do it. You can scooch. Come on, honey. These will help you. This is Aspen Echo, and she's very, very arthritic, so that's why she's getting these pain meds. Come here, hon. You can do it. Come on, lady. <laughs> to get all the legs going in the same direction. Oh. Heard that, girlfriend. You got it, you got it, you got it. Good job. Yeah, you can lay right there, that's good. Laura, I don't know off the top of my head how old she is, but I'm thinking she's over 20. If somebody can look her up, her bio will be at bigcatrescue.org slash aspen dash echo. Good girl, sweetie. Thank you for your little shimmy over. Good girl. <laughs> I love yeah, how you do that little do chatter thing after you eat. Yeah. You're so cute. You're coming out or am I feeding you in the bed? Mac usually likes to eat in his den. So there's a little window in the side. <laughs> you just expect that paw to come out and slap you right in the face. games like that but his peak games aren't as friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle, we feed 500 pounds of raw meat every day to the 72 cats and one Janet who live here. <clears throat> it divides out differently depending on the cat's size, age, activity level. And our vet is always reviewing to make sure that they're getting the proper amount. Nice Not getting too fat or too skinny. Oh, oh cougar rice. I got one more. <coughs> That's why she's not an operating cat. <laughs> you know, they would never know how sweet you are. <laughs> You're so sweet, but the only time people see her is when I go around following the meds person at night. Everybody on YouTube thinks that Nikita Linus is, uh, is like ferocious because every time we do her song, she kind of goes crazy. <laughs> she actually comes around. Everybody's like, man, that's that Linus. Oh, she's really hot. <laughs> she just likes things that she really likes in a scary way. <laughs> <laughs> Overly enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you got your shoes. I'm not wearing my shoes today. I'm wearing my Crocs. I thought it was going to rain and I was going to be slopping around in the mud. Uh, Tori, I'm not sure how many species. We have lions, tigers, leopards, cougars, bobcats, servals, 
a oh, serval caracal hybrid. Oh, there he is! Savannah cat hybrid. Did I say bobcats? <laughs> I've lost track now. A couple kinds of lynx. Oh yeah, Canada lynx, Siberian lynx. Buddies. You got it! It's <laughs> the good thing about having claws. You need an ounce of pills and a pound of patience. <laughs> patience is the key word for sure. Come on, buddy. We feed all of the cats in the morning, but there are some cats who just refuse to eat in the morning, so they get fed at night. And there's some cats who won't eat their entire meal at one sitting, so they might have to be fed a couple times a day. So that's why the big bucket of food. Alright, let's see how convincing I sound. <laughs> he does not look convinced. Oh no, he looks really comfortable. Hey buddy! Come on TJ! Come on bud! Come on! Let go! I brought you dinner! That's not looking good. Come on! Well, thank you, Jan. We love you guys, too. We sure appreciate the fact that you comment and that you show us all the love and that you share these videos with other people so that we can teach people why they should never pay to touch a cub or go any place that has cubs. We'll be lucky if it's only five more minutes, Mom. <laughs> Come here, sweetheart. Let's go, bud. Come on, TJ. Got some yummies. I got yummies. Come here, buddy. Thank you, Angie. Come on, Teach. Come on, bud. Can we come back? Sometimes, Robin. That's what I thought too. So much false hope. We'll just take a bath. You're a tease, TJ.
things, but I did that. And that was a lot hard work. Let's see. Hoover. I need his girlfriend alone for a little bit. Yeah, you're no help back there. You're no help, Jazzy Pants. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, Diana, it's 67 acres and I think 73 cats. Might be 74. These two. <laughs> Was the one with the pill. growing skills here. The chicken doesn't wad up into a ball as easily as the mush. <laughs> right? And I was, usually he waits, so he put his door down so I didn't have to just throw it at him, which I prefer. <laughs> This is Hoover. Sorry, buddy. Pink. Oh, pink. Oh, buddy. So sandy. Where are you going? You can't be done yet. Look, mister. She'll be there when you get done. Yeah. Not going to hey. I hope you have the lid because the bottom is the only part I saw.
it always reminds me of that scene from uh, Jim Carrey's movie where he's trying to put on the gloves. They're all calling you on Facebook Live, Cameron. Cameron, come on, bud. Let's go. I know you hear me because your ears are pointing right at me. <laughs> Indeed, they are. <laughs> Even huh? Zabu didn't bother to get up. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be some of the most lazy and stubborn cats I've ever met. Although Joseph got an eye exam today and he did really good. I was surprised he stayed there long enough for the doctor. <laughs> since he's not any of the doctor's biggest fan. But she says his eyes are doing really well. Luana said the wind sound is really obnoxious on here, and I apologize for that. I forgot to bring a sock again. I need a sock.
That's different. Well, hi. Bubba, smell yeah, that. I didn't know you were oh, there. Oh, you like those. Claws. Oh, you don't like those. He just took them in and spit them out. <laughs> what was that? Next? Yeah. Cameron Most cats them. love those. Cameron prefers next over anything else. He said it's turkey guns. It's like oh, potato God. chips. There's no nutritional value in them, but the cats just love them. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> so chuffy back there. So what she's doing is putting eye drops in his eyes, and we've been having an increasingly difficult time doing that because he's just wise to us and usually won't come in the areas where we can put the drops in over the top of his head. Today we had a film crew here filming Dr. Tammy Miller about a piece that they're going to be doing about cat eyes. I can't tell you who um, or the show, but as soon as it's ready to come out, oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. But for today's Facebook question of the day, spelling matters. And please don't post your comment here. If, to win, you have to post it over at bigcatrescue.org slash win bigcatrescue.org slash win and the winner will get their choice of a day tour pass to Big Cat Rescue valued at $36 or they can pick any one item from either one of our online stores. We have two stores. One is at bigcatrescue.biz B-I-Z. The other one is at catrescue.biz and to win you have to be somebody who's never won before even if you have one you can get a beautiful photo Luana posts really pretty photos that she'll give to anybody who participates over there at bigcatrescue.org win if they get the answer right 
And the question is, cat's eyes are very reflective. What is that reflective membrane called? <laughs> you only left itty bitty bits. going to go back right. and catch the rest of the cats who didn't eat earlier, but I am going to sign off here with gorgeous Joseph. Thank you everybody for joining us tonight. <laughs>